again, I, I can go back to the point I made in, 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 to, concerning the first question. Um, whatever we try needs to be built on the foundations of um, fundamental principles and uh, the respect for human rights. What, what does that mean? Um, we have large private actors with enormous uh, capacity to determine what people can see. And this is a major shift compared to what the internet looked like 15 years ago, um, where we didn't have this centralization of, of, of the information space. And so this has double effects. One is companies have um, large decision-making uh, power, and at the same time we see now governments as well putting pressure on them because now they actually have a um, much better tool of information control than what they may have had um, 15 years ago where um, information was much more decentralized. Which at the same time also meant that far less people were able to express themselves actively. Um, so, in reality, we have now a space where people communicate with each other, which always touches upon the right to freedom of expression. And effectively, companies being able to control this, be it on, by their own initiative or uh, at the request of governments. Um, I'm a bit wary asking for regulation in this area because it has so often turned out badly and it's so often a pretext um, for clamping down on, on um, legitimate speech on dissidents, um, human rights defenders, and so on. And so what I, and I'm certainly not alone, and I draw a lot of inspiration from, from others, um, including the special rapporteur and freedom of expression, David Kay, um, is that we should focus on, on aspects like accountability, transparency, um, if to, 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 and to establish certain mechanisms that um, give the public the tools to actually see what companies do and also to hold them accountable. Uh, in this context, there's many ideas that are, um, that are around social media councils to do it industry-wide, for example. We see efforts now at Facebook with the oversight board. Um, but I think we will see much more experimentation and we should encourage this, I think, um, in order to, to see what works and what has unexpected detrimental effects. Um, and this may involve all kinds of ideas. So <laughs> a number of countries uh, have floated the idea of um, social media regulators, some countries have also moved uh, forward in it. But often they put everything in the hands of one regulator. And if we have one office say that's responsible for addressing incitement to hatred, hate speech, a term uh, again that's problematic, and at the same time is also tasked with increasing people's and um, protecting people's freedoms, we have an inherent conflict of interest. So I feel this is an area where it's worth looking in, into institutional arrangements. Should there be maybe an ombudsperson for freedom of expression who has certain um, um, competencies, authorities to, to check with companies if what they do is actually protective of your expression.